going on guys? It's Keto from Dark Star Press Gaming and welcome to Carpe DM. Um, this is a fairly new visual novel game. It was just released on Steam on the 30th of November. Um, it's got some fairly positive reviews. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of visual novels, so I stumbled upon it and wanted to check it out. And this, is, this is a fairly short game, so it may not be multiple episodes of this depending on what happens in this game. Let's give it a go. She's late. I've experienced some troubles lately. We weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I could spend time with her. But it is only temporary, and I don't know how long it will last. Hey, Jung! Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for about half an hour. A guy's supposed to say not at all here, you know? I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. <laughs> they didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right. So where do you want to go? Um, Let's go to the mall, I guess. I don't know. How about the mall? Wow, didn't expect you to suggest going to the mall. Why is that? Because you get bored easily when we're, you're shopping with me. Yeah, but this time I have stuff I want to buy. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Duct tape to shut you up. Oh my, when did you become so kinky? But whatever. But, but, but whatever you're into, I guess. Ah. You know you like it. She laughs as she pulls me toward the mall. It takes a lot of time, energy, and money to shop with I. Normally, I would avoid the shopping mall like a plague, but I'll make it. But today, I'll make an exception. Yeah. Wow, they're having a huge, a big sale. Uh, we just stepped into the shopping mall's entrance, and she's already pointing at a clothing store. Let's check it out. She pulls me toward the store, then proceeds so to keenly examine every part of every clothing. I swear I hate that. Like a detective looking for evidence. Um, she picks up the white dress with the flower designs in the bottom half. One sec. She heads to the fitting room to try it on. How does this look? It's hard for me to answer this question because I have zero sense of fashion. I'm the type of guy who would wear anything that fits my size. I'm, I'm that same way to be honest. So, when it, so whenever she asks me this question, I rely on the magic word. Cute. I think it's cute. She, she looks at a mirror. Really? Isn't it a bit plain? I touch my chin with my right hand as if to reanalyze the clothing. I find it cute. I'll take it. She goes inside the fitting room to take it off. She then walks to the cashier to pay for it. Okay, I'm starting to get bored now. <laughs> Is that all you need from the store? Pretty much. They don't have much on anyway. I think I read that right. Then we continue to walk around the mall. She's like a chunk of steel while stores are strong magnets. Nice, nice comparison there. Um, whenever we are walking, she slowly strays toward the store, sometimes without her even knowing it. That's most girls that I know, to be honest. Hey, Jung! This, this looks good on you. She holds up a shirt with a spider print. I don't really need new clothes. I'll buy it for you. I'm not wearing that. She picks another shirt up. There. I'll buy myself one as well so we, so we match. I'll wear it with you. That's not the problem. I know it's no use once she makes up her mind. While she's paying for the shirts, my eyes wander around and saw a computer store. Let's head there when you're done. I point to it with my, th my thumb. Ah. Oh yeah, you did say you needed to buy something. Yeah, I'm going to see if they have cheap parts there. Especially hard drives. The program I'm developing is bigger than I expected. She silently follows me into, the, into and around the computer store. Just a few seconds and I'm ready to pay for my items. 
That was fast. That's how you're supposed to shop. <laughs> nah. You're not even checking if they work or not before you buy them. That's what warranties are for. I got to the cashier and paid. I go to the cashier and pay. Where do you want to go next? I saw a toy store over there. Let's check it out. We get to the toy store and I immediately heads to the plush area. Look at all these cuties. I want all of them. Go for it, as long as you have the money. What? I thought you're paying. You are you are paying. Keep dreaming. I'm kidding. But seriously though, they're so cute. I wonder what I should get. While she's busy picking a plushie, I head to the next aisle where the keychains are. I saw a spider keychain. Ah, she would love this. I quickly go to the cashier to pay for it. Then walk then walk back to I, who still can't decide what to get. Hey I, I bought this for you. I show her the keychain. That's so cute! You didn't have to. It's fine. It wasn't that expensive anyway. She looks really happy about the cheap keychain I got her. While walking, I see the store book. Hey, let's stop there for a bit. I didn't know you liked reading books. Well, not those kinds of books. <clears throat> I'm actually starting to get into cooking, so... Oh, I see. You're looking for cookbooks? Yeah. What kind of dishes do you like? I'll try to cook for you sometime. Uh, I don't know how to read that. I'm going to try my best. Belf... Borginana? I don't know. I, I, I don't know if they're going to read for. Whoa, chill. Why don't we start with bacon and eggs? Why even bother, bother asking that? She smiles as she takes her three beginner cookbooks from the shelf. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh. Oh, yeah. I just realized I'm kind of hungry now, too. We head to the mall's food court. What do you want? Whatever you're getting. I'll just share it with you. Alright. Find us a spot and I'll buy food. I go to the large serving of maki rolls and sushi. I go, I go to... I go to buy a large serving of... Damn it! This is probably enough for four people. Whatever. I like these anyway. That's... Kind of a lot, don't you think? I'm gonna have you eat all of these. I want you big. <laughs> no way I'm gonna eat all that! I'm kidding. But these do look yummy. I might eat more than I intend to. I realize how hungry I am when I finish the whole serving within five minutes. Wow, you were that hungry? Apparently. I sit back and let my stomach blow. Where do you want to go next? Let's see. How about the arcade? Alright. As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Uh, I, I guess that works. Um, Hey, Jung, look! She points at the, at the at a crane game. Oh, I hate those games. Uh, I always love cute things. I want that big spider plushie. What's what's with this in spiders, man? I'm kind of um, intrigued by this now. Um, and she finds spiders extremely cute for some reason. I try to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. Eh. The plushie has all her attention. Um, her first try barely touched the thing she wants. What were you even trying to get? Hush! Let me concentrate here. She managed to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, it fell! She inserts another coin and tries again. Uh, and again. And again. This crane is broken! Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at crane games myself. But I got to show off somehow. Uh, got it! Thank goodness. Wow, how did you do that? Easy. 
I pray to all gods I know of. <laughs> of course I can't say that. It's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? Of course not. I immediately stopped when I saw her holding out a coin. I will just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. There are some racing games over there. Wanna try it? Not very fond of those, I was saying. I'll just watch you. Okay. I'll just play a couple of rounds. I'm not a big fan of ra racing games either. Then why the hell are you playing it? Um, I just like their setup in the arcade. They are almost completely enclosed to the seat to the seat tilts according to the game. It feels real. Um, I stands behind me and watches as, as I play. As expected, I lost the first round horribly. <laughs> wow, Chung! Are you even trying? Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with her plushie as I continue my game. And then again, I lost. Ah! Just as I thought, this isn't really my thing. If only they, were, if only they have this kind of setup for a completely different game. I chuckles as if, as if to mock me. I think you suck at whatever game it is. Is that why you can never win against me? Oh yeah? Why don't we sell this once for all? She points at the fighting game arcades. Oh, those are the best. I loved playing these games when I was a kid to prepare to, to, prepare to get your butt kicked. Um, I accept your challenge, Missy. Finally a game I can play with her. It's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? P practice game! I don't know the buttons yet. I also have not played this game in a long time. So we sat across each other and her voice is all I can hear. I think I worked that right. Spend the first round trying to figure out what every button does. Um, after trying some combinations, my character accidentally hits hers. No fair! Don't hit me yet! Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I... Oh, never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me Come at me anytime, bro. The battle begins. We got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. We are more or less evenly matched. I win half the time and she wins the other half. More importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. Uh, shit! Why did I do that? Strangely enough, it was the side of her I find cute the most. The buttons are not listening to me! I only see her like this when I play with her at home. Which only happened once or twice before. Ha! I won! Beat that! I'm just trying to keep my laughter in, in while listening to her. You play one round after, after another. Hey, no fair! I wasn't ready! The more she plays, the better she gets. See? I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Um, she sees the poster on the wall about a firework display happening tonight. Hey! She looks at me pointing at the poster. Oh, okay. I know, I see it. Can we go? Sure. I also know a spot around here, around there perfect for watching it. Really? Yeah, they do this show every year. Awesome! I'm excited! It takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up, hill, up the hill. The sun just set when we arrived, so it was starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. Wow, you're right. This is a good view. Right? Um, we sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, Dr. Flight shoots toward the sky. Slowly fade and gloom like a flower of different colors. A cheer of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. Eyes' faces filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever, but I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? Almost. Don't worry, it won't be long. It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... 
Have you heard of the Turing test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can speak, act or speak like a human. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. Hey, what the hell? Just like I. No matter how good her program is, and no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. We aren't in the same dimension in reality. She will continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. Ah. The program crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go any longer than that. I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> wow, um... That was a well unexpected twist, you know? When I read the description for this game, I thought it was going to be something a little more, you know, well, I mean, this is pretty deep, don't get me wrong, but I got a deeper plot, like, you know, him being sick or, her, you know, him moving or some shit like that, but I didn't expect for it to be like, um, you know kind of like a visual novel thing, you know, that's basically what it was, a visual novel within the visual novel, I like that a lot, so, um, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that, I really enjoyed that, um, I'm hoping to see more games like this in the future as well, but not like with the general plot, but like something quite similar to it with its own twist, that's what I'm kind of, that's what I'm um, referring to there, um, alright, so, Unless there's other endings. No, there's not other endings. I, I doubt that. I highly doubt that. Um, if there's, like, different parts of the, of the story I can do, like, if I decide to go to um, the arcade or um, the park first and uh, other things were to happen, I w I'll, be, I'll be sure to do that. But until then, um, I'm going to end off right here. Um, this has been Keto from Dark Star Press Gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I sure did. And, and, and the twists to this story really got me really, really good. I liked it a lot. Um, see you guys in my next Let's Play. Peace out.